This music gets your attention right away. And this move, side by side, triple sow cows, he doubled it. Double toe loop. Just this basic skating is best of the competition. Last throw, triple loop, back outside edge takeoff. Very solid, very steady. won the world title in Dortmund, Germany last year. They beat the defending champs, Shen and Zhao of China. The next day, while practicing for exhibitions, Tatiana dislocated her shoulder, and they could not skate in the exhibitions. It took some time to, to rehab that, but she says she's basically 99% healthy now. Oh, there's another! Oh, gosh! Oh, I think she hit her. Oleg Vasiliev, their coach, quickly out to 10 to Tatiana Topmianina. And emergency personnel also making their way out onto the ice. My gosh. Peter, we've often talked about how dangerous this sport is, but until you see something like that, it, it really doesn't hit home how true that is. This is absolutely the most helpless feeling you can have as a pair skater when your feet go out from under you and you drop your partner like that. It's just, it's the most horrible feeling. And right now they have to do the right thing, not move her and it's just horrible to watch. Trying to ask for some help from the crowd just in uh, staying quiet letting the emergency personnel do their jobs. We've seen, uh, well, I, I, I don't know if we've seen much of that level uh, or at that level. Tomorrow, Moscovina has been through similar situations before. Yelena Berejnaya, she coached her, and she had a head injury, a blade slicing through her head. Paul Binabo is the American skater with the head injury, a pair of skater we've seen in the past. Mm -hmm. But this was a very dramatic fall. And um, just to chronicle it, we're gonna show it to you, but if you don't wanna look, turn away right now. Oh, do you see, Terry, that, that lift just got away from him. This is one of the most dangerous lifts because they're both taking off forwards. She's like a sail in the air, and that sail, it's like catching a gust of wind, and that throws him to his heel, he catches it, and then the fall accelerates as she comes to the ground, just brutal. And Maxime Marinin, not knowing what to do right now, along with Oleg Vasiliev and the emergency personnel taking Tatiana Topmianina after immobilizing her, and making sure that they did not move her right away and making sure that her head, her neck does not move, uh, taking her off on a stretcher. Medical room has been prepared, but they will take her to a local hospital here in Pittsburgh, and uh, certainly everyone who just witnessed that, uh, saying a prayer right now for Tatiana. Back to Pittsburgh in a moment. Short time ago, she was taken to Mercy Hospital here in the downtown area, and Susie Wynn made her way over there. 
I'm with Beth Lowry, the spokesperson for Mercy Hospital. And Beth, could you please give us an update on Tatiana's condition? Sure. Um, what we'd like to basically do is reassure all the fans who saw the uh, accident this evening that she's doing very well here at the hospital this evening. Um, she was assessed by Dr. Larry Jones. He is the chief of our trauma services. We are a level one trauma center, which means we have someone here 24 hours. So that was good. Um, but basically, he did the assessment, uh, the appropriate testing, and uh, we are listing her in good condition. We are admitting her overnight primarily for observation. Thank you very much, Beth. All right, Susie, thanks. Peter and Peggy, that's amazing. In it good really condition is. after the fall, which was just, you cringed oh, when you watched that. Yeah, I, I think everybody held their breath, uh -huh. me included. And that's probably the worst accident I have ever seen in competition. Really? And especially, you know, uh, covering the event. I mean, it's uh, amazing. She's doing so well. I think all the prayers of the uh, fans that were here tonight and you know all of us I think it helped <laughs> so they tell so us she will be kept uh, in the hospital overnight for observation perhaps released uh, the next day uh, it, it's amazing Peter uh, the, mm -hmm. all the years that you're involved in, in pair skating I'm sure you had some falls but we've talked yeah. about how dangerous this sport is but until you see it you don't really realize it. do you ever see a time when maybe pair skaters are gonna be forced to wear helmets well actually possibility but let me answer two parts of this question first of all I think that the pairs are going for such big difficulty in the lifts that yeah. they're pushing the envelope in some of these lifts. And they have to make sure that they're mechanically sound when they're doing the lifts. But having said that, as far as the helmets are going right now, they don't wear them. Little kids wear them sometimes when they're learning lifts. We wore them growing up as kids uh, in pair skating, but you shed them when you're in competition. If falls start to reoccur more often, well, definitely, I think helmets will be investigated. But right now, I don't see that happening. If this continues on on a more regular basis, then possibly. Well, just a, a frightening, frightening incident here uh, in Pittsburgh. But it uh, turns out to be okay, at least, as Tatiana told me on in good condition at Mercy Hospital here in the downtown area.